Welcome back to Minecraft Exploration and Tactics with Brian. And last time we set sail from our normal home and just came out to explore. And so now we have a whole new landscape that awaits us. Let's go take a look. So first off, it's kind of a little bit of a valley here. And so I'm always worried about uh, creepers who are going to go jump out at me from who knows where. But oh, speaking of the devil, Hey, some bones. Hello, creeper. Oops, crap. All right. Well, it's always good to get that out of the way. <laughs> Dirt. All right. So this, let me stand back from it a little bit again. It's kind of the main interesting thing that brought us over here. I can't even see the top from here. And so, actually, that creeper kind of helped me out because now I have even more dirt on my person and I can use it to make an elevator up into the sky to check that thing out because I think that'll be the fastest way up there. So, yep, yeah, let's just try it out. <clears throat> oh, there's another creeper. <laughs> How close are we getting? Good. Oh wow, I'm a good aim there. About 25 blocks into the sky, and I think I can jump off from here. Wish me luck. All right. And so we're on a little slice of the top of the world. Got some trees. Oh, it looks like down this side might be a little less steep. Interesting. It's another interesting bit of landscape right there, too. Let's see if I can get a better view anywhere else. Actually, if I just do the same trick again. Okay, now I'm really on top of the world. So yeah, another kind of crazy overhang, like the one that I'm on. Not quite as picturesque. All right. Well. Overall, I'm not sure that that was <laughs> as exciting or satisfying as I thought it might be. Can I get any more over here? Not easily. And now if I want to get back, I think I can do this. All right. Hey, there's a piggy. Hello, piggy. All right, gently. Going to go back down just like we came up. as we're about halfway down, I just want to take a look at the underside of this crazy platform that held all those trees and things. It's like a pedestal. And now, as I get close to the bottom, is that creeper still here anywhere? I don't see him. And he's not right at the base, so I think we're safe. So, we have a couple of options. How are we doing on daylight? High noon. Uh, I could explore some caves around here, or I could continue, basically use the shelter that I set up over here just as a temporary shelter for a day, and continue sailing off. And I think I'm tempted to do that by virtue of the fact that I was hoping to see a snow biome, uh, or perhaps find uh, some pumpkins, and so instead, I'm just going to set out a few torches around here, so that if I ever want to come back, I might be able to find it. But I think I'm going to hop back in my boat. Before I do, let me grab the good bits of my stuff, 
out of my temporary shelter. And so I'm going to grab this stuff, uh, pile back into the boat, and I'll see you guys in a minute. And we're back and ready to set sail. Oops. And a nice time for the music to kick in. So once again, there's that crazy overhang that led us here in the first place. And now we sail atop these tranquil waters and see what else we can find. So I'm pretty sure I came from that direction, and so I'm going to head in this one. Actually, that's easy to double check. Yep, my compass is pointing to the right. I'm headed to the left. Looks like we've got some more desert and cactus over here. A bunch of little islands with little trees on them. That seems to be very popular in this world. Can't tell if there's reeds right there or what that is. So let's head a little bit that way. Deserts, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's an interesting kind of pyramid looking structure. Yep, it's reeds. What do I hear splashing around? Do you hear that? I guess it could be squids below me somewhere. I hear something walking around as well. But I don't hear any monster sounds. Let's see. The sun is going down soon. <clears throat> So what should I do for temporary shelter? I'm going to try something different, just because I never have, which is I'll go take a little bit of this flat bit of beach here, and I'm going to see if I can quickly build a house. There's the sun going down right now. I'm going to do this off camera and see how quickly I can do it. Be back in a bit. All right, I'm back. And if you wanted a quick and inelegant cobblestone house, here it is. Got a roof over my head, uh, basically a two by two square, and a little window that I can see outside of. So this will obviously protect me from the night. And by virtue of the fact that I'm kind of out on a little island, like I think I'm actually pretty well protected. And so I'm tempted to just go ahead and put a few torches around the outside, stand outside, take in some of the landscape, Here's my boat. I'm also going to go ahead and put some torches on the outside of the house itself. Just because. And yeah, it's your usual night. And I don't know that at this level of darkness I'll be really able to take in any of the landscape. I could put together a crafting table and see if there's any things I want to go through. But instead, I think I'm probably going to spend most of my time waiting it out. Uh, so I'll go ahead and cut things off here and see you guys again in the morning. Okay, so I confess, I got bored uh, just waiting around for nightfall. And morning will be rising soon, but basically I took squ two squares out of the back of my little house and was just digging down, 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 straight down into the earth. And I found a little bit of iron along the way, but then finally came out to down here where we can see some lava. And so now I have a choice to make, which is basically, should I continue down there or should I go back up because it's going to be daytime soon? And, hmm, both are pretty tempting. But I think since we are on a voyage and we're out to try to find pumpkins, I'm going to go ahead and close this back up and just use an elevator back up to the top because it's going to be daybreak soon. 
But that might be a fun thing to try at different uh, stopping points on our journey. Anyway, I'll cut things off until we get back in the boat and head on out.